How's it going guys? It's Friday, January 16th, 2015, and I have a good amount of supplements behind me right now. I put in this order a few days ago, so I figured it'd be a really good time to do an unboxing of what I bought, tell you why I bought it, um, tell you what I typically buy, and give you a brief explanation of each supplement that I got. So without further ado, let's get some unboxing done. So let's go through this smaller box first to begin. Free gift with my order, a 20 ounce shaker cup, can never have enough of those. And a couple of these Neon Sport fat burners. Haven't tried these, um, really they just look like glorified caffeine pills, but they might be a little better, so I'll do a little review on them possibly in the future, see how they work as an appetite suppressant, etc. And um, for the actual supplements I ordered in this box, I have Norco Drain by PES. Now, I just kind of said I wasn't a big fat burner person, and that's because a lot of fat burners are essentially caffeine pills with things added like green tea leaf extract or raspberry ketones. Not a lot of stuff that's going to give you huge changes, to be honest, because as we know, diet, training, and cardio has to be 100% in place before you see any results. However, I do believe in a handful of research ingredients. Among them, Yohimbine bark, Yohimbine um, HCL, uh, Yohimbine bark extract, among other things that this is providing. Um, it does serve as a slight appetite suppressant, and I've had positive experiences with PES in the past. So it's one of the very few supplement brands that I actually trust in terms of products in this category. Moving on to the next thing I have by PES in this box is Erase Pro. This is basically a natural hardening agent. I have two of these and I'm not starting them now. I'm actually going to probably start them about 60 days out from my competition. Each of these provide 30 days. And um, basically what it is, it's a natural hardening agent that dries you up a little bit and makes you a little bit more vascular. Again guys, this these aren't really any supplements that are necessary to lose fat, to look good, or anything like that. I'm not promoting them like that. However, I have bought them in the past and have had positive experiences with them. So I'm gonna look my best for the stage in May, so I'm gonna use every tool I can um, on top of my diet, cardio, and training that I can to look my best. All right, moving on to this bigger box here, starting off with some PES milk chocolate protein. I have not tried their milk chocolate. I've tried their snickerdoodle and their cookies and cream, which were both fantastic. Typically, I don't really get just chocolate or vanilla proteins. I'll get more interesting flavors, but um, I decided to change it up a little bit. For every 33 grams of protein, you're looking at one and a half fat, uh, one carb, and 24 protein. So macros here are impeccable. And that's again one of the reasons why I like PES's protein. And it also tends to be a tad thicker than your typical whey isolates. Now the next protein I got is Trutein. And Trutein is known for their superior flavoring. However, I've never tried their lemon merengue pie. And typically I'm not really a big lemon person, to be honest. But I decided to give it a try because the ratings on this are the highest I've seen for any flavor on bodybuilding.com. So I figured I might as well try it out. Um, and it's a whey, casein, and egg white blend. So it is a little bit thicker even than this PES, which I do like again because I typically use my proteins in oats and sludges and mixtures other than drinking it. I got these nitrix bottles as you see, and I would never have ordered this if it wasn't buy one get one free. The only reason I ordered this is because I won't be taking pre-workouts. As I showed you, I have the Norcadrine, which does have caffeine in it already, so that's enough stimulants for me. And I was looking for something that was a non-stimulant based pump type of pre-workout. Now moving on to ZMA, this is something that's a staple for me. And the reason I like ZMA is because I've noticed better sleep with it and a little bit better recovery. I've been on it, I've been taking ZMA probably for a little over a year now. I've read a lot about being deficient in zinc and how that little deficiency can have adverse effects on things like hormone levels and in turn affect your sleep and recovery. You can get it for eight to 12 bucks on bodybuilding.com and it's a good thing to just have in your stack. 
So yeah, that's everything that came in this order. And I'll let you know how I like this Norco Dream. So if it sucks, you don't have to waste your money on it. I'm sure it won't because I've only had great experiences with this brand in the past. But if you enjoyed this type of video, give it a thumbs up, guys. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions on any of this stuff, leave it in the comments section. I'll get back to you as always. Or if you've tried any of this already and have some input or advice, I'd love to hear it. So leave it in the comment section. All right, guys, I'll catch all of you in the next video. Peace out.